Chapter 1, Non-Commercial Learner's Permit Information. This chapter will provide the information you need to know about obtaining a Pennsylvania Learner's Permit. The areas addressed include applying for a Learner's Permit, as well as a knowledge and road test. Applying for a Learner's Permit. You must obtain a Learner's Permit before you operate a motor vehicle in Pennsylvania. You will need to take and pass the vision, knowledge, and road tests to get your driver's license. The Non-Commercial Learner's Permit application, DL-180, is valid for one year from the date of your physical examination. However, the physical examination date may not be more than six months prior to your 16th birthday. When you are 16 years of age or older, please complete the following steps in order to get your Non-Commercial Learner's Permit. You cannot apply for your permit before your 16th birthday. Step 1. Complete the Non-Commercial Learner's Permit Application, or DL-180, found on our website at www.dmv.pa.gov under the Forms and Publications link at the top of the page. Step 2. Your healthcare provider must complete the back of the Non-Commercial Learner's Permit Application, or DL-180. The form must be completed no earlier than six months prior to your 16th birthday. All information must be completed. Step 3. If the driver license examiner cannot determine whether the information on the Non-Commercial Learner's Permit Application, or DL-180, meets medical standards, your learner's permit may be delayed. You may be required to undergo additional medical examinations. If you have a condition that seriously impairs your ability to drive, you may be required to get a dual control learner's permit and learn to drive with a certified instructor. Step four, if you are under 18 years of age, your parent, guardian, person in loco parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older must complete the parent or guardian consent form or DL180TD. Also found on our website at www dmv.pa.gov under the Forms and Publications link at the top of the page. If the parent, guardian, person in loco parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older cannot accompany the applicant, the DL-180TD must be signed by the parent, guardian, person in loco parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older in the presence of a notary. Proper identification is required, and if last names are different, verification of relationship is needed. If you are over 18 years of age, you must present two proofs of residency, including any of the following. A current utility bill, water, gas, electric, cable, and so on. Your W-2 form. Your tax records. Your current weapons permit, for U.S. citizens only. Your lease agreements or your mortgage documents. After studying the manual and following the four steps just listed, bring the following items to the Driver License Center when you are ready to take your knowledge test. Your completed non-commercial learner's permit application, or DL-180. Do not mail this form. If you were under 18 years of age, also bring your completed parent or guardian consent form, or DL-180TD. Proof of date of birth and identification. These documents must be originals. Photocopies will not be accepted. Your social security card, which must be signed. Your check or money order made payable to Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, or PennDOT, for the correct amount. Cash, debit, and credit cards cannot be accepted. Please note, Forms of identification may be used to prove your date of birth are listed on the back of the Non-Commercial Learner's Permit Application, or DL-180, along with the fees. At the Driver License Center, your vision will be tested. If you wear glasses or contact lenses, please bring them with you. You will then take the knowledge test on signs, laws, driving rules, and safe practices described later in this manual. After passing the knowledge test, the examiner will give you a learner's permit, which is valid for one year. When you receive your learner's permit, you may begin to practice driving. PennDOT recommends young drivers schedule their road test at this time, as long as the testing date is not before the eligibility date printed on your learner's permit. 
If you are under the age of 18, you are required to complete at least 65 hours of behind-the-wheel skill building, including no less than 10 hours of nighttime driving and 5 hours of bad weather driving before taking your road test. This training will help teach you the skills necessary to become a good, safe driver. Remember, a licensed driver who is at least 21 years of age or a parent, guardian, person and local apprentice, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older and holds a driver's license must ride with you in the front seat of your vehicle at all times. In addition, drivers under the age of 18 cannot have more passengers in the vehicle than the number of seatbelts. After you have waited the mandatory six months from your permit issue date and have a signed certificate of completion for the 65 hours of skill building, including no less than 10 hours of nighttime driving and five hours of bad weather driving, you may take your road test. If your learner's permit expires, or if you do not pass your road test after three tries, you may obtain a non-commercial learner's permit application to add, extend, replace, change, or correct. DL 31. If you are using your learner's permit for driving outside the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, please check with your insurance company and the other state's Department of Transportation to make sure your learner's permit is considered valid. If any information on your learner's permit is not correct, bring proof of the correct information to the examiner when you come to the driver license center for testing. If you fail the knowledge test, the examiner will return the non-commercial learner's permit application, DL-180, and your parent or guardian consent form, or DL-180TD, to you. You may take the knowledge test only one time on any day, regardless of test location. Keep your forms in a safe place, since you must bring them with you when you are tested again. Organ donor designation. Each time you renew your Pennsylvania driver's license, you will be asked if you want the organ donor designation on your driver's license. Please decide before going to the photo license center. The words organ donor will appear on your driver's license when you respond yes to being designated as an organ donor at the photo license center. Applicants under 18 years of age may request and obtain the organ donor designation on their driver's license. However, they must have written consent from a parent guardian, person in loco parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older. They may give consent by checking the appropriate block on the parent or guardian consent form, or DL-180-TD. For information on organ and tissue donation, contact 1877-DONOR-PA. You can also add the organ donor designation to your driver record via our website at www.dmv. .pa.gov, which gives you the opportunity to print a card to carry with your driver's license. Organ Donation Awareness Trust Fund. You have the opportunity to donate $1 to the Governor Robert P. Casey Memorial Organ and Tissue Donation Awareness Trust Fund. The trust fund will create funding to support the various organ donation programs across the Commonwealth and provide public information concerning these programs. Make a check mark on your driver's license form if you wish to contribute to this fund. The $1 contribution is added to the driver's license fee and must be included in your payment when you send your form to PennDOT. Veterans Designation You have the opportunity to add the veteran's designation to your driver's license, which clearly indicates you are a veteran of the United States Armed Forces. To qualify, you must have served in the United States Armed Forces, including a reserve component or the National Guard, and have been discharged or released from such service under conditions other than dishonorable. Veterans Trust Fund. You have the opportunity to make a tax-deductible contribution to the Veterans Trust Fund. Your contribution will help support programs and projects for Pennsylvania veterans and their families. Since this additional $3 is not part of the fee, please add the donated amount to your payment. Social Security Number Information The department is required by law to obtain your Social Security number, height, and eye color under the provisions of Section 1510A and 1609A4 of the Pennsylvania Vehicle Code. The information will be used as identifying information in an attempt to minimize driver's license fraud. Your social security number is not part of your public driver's record. 
Federal law permits the use of the Social Security number by state licensing officials for purposes of identification. Your Social Security number will not be printed on your learner's permit or driver's license. Pennsylvania Vision Standards You may have poor vision in either eye and still be able to obtain a driver's license. However, you may be required to wear glasses or contact lenses, be restricted to daylight driving, or be allowed to operate only vehicles equipped with side mirrors. If your vision fails to meet the vision standards, the examiner will give you a Report of Eye Examination Form, DL-102. You should have an optometrist, ophthalmologist, or family physician test your vision and complete this form. When the form is completed, you may return to the Driver License Center to continue testing. Who needs a Pennsylvania driver's license? Individuals who possess a valid foreign driver's license from their country are authorized to drive in Pennsylvania for up to one year from their date of entry into the United States, or upon expiration of their foreign license, whichever comes first. International driving permits are strongly recommended, but not required. Reciprocity agreements exist with the countries of France, Germany, and Taiwan, allowing for the transfer of a valid non-commercial driver's license without road or knowledge testing. However, a vision test will be administered. The transfer of a driver's license from Puerto Rico, France, or Germany cannot be completed in the same day. People living in Pennsylvania who are at least 16 years of age and want to drive a motor vehicle. People who just moved into Pennsylvania and are establishing Pennsylvania residency. If you hold a valid driver's license from another state or Canada, you must get a Pennsylvania driver's license within 60 days after moving to Pennsylvania and surrender your out-of-state driver's license. And people in the United States Armed Forces whose legal address is in Pennsylvania, including members of the reserve components stationed in Pennsylvania who must get a driver's license to operate a non-military vehicle. Junior Learner's Permit Information your learner's permit will be valid for one year from the issue date printed on your initial learner's permit. During this time, there are certain limitations on your driving privilege if you are under 18 years of age. They are, you may only drive under the supervision of a licensed driver who is at least 21 years of age, or a parent, guardian, person in loco parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older and holds a driver's license. The supervising driver must sit in the front seat. You may not carry more passengers than seatbelts available in the vehicle you are driving. Junior Driver's License Information Like the Junior Learner's Permit, there are some limitations to the Junior Driver's License. They are, you may not drive between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. unless your parent, guardian, person and local parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older is with you. However, you may drive between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. if you are involved in public or charitable service, a member of a volunteer fire company, or employed during those hours. In these cases, you must carry a notarized affidavit or certificate of authorization from your employer, supervisor, or fire chief indicated your probable schedule of activities. This notarized affidavit should be kept with your driver's license. You may not carry more passengers than seatbelts available in the vehicle you are driving. You may not carry more than one passenger under the age of 18 who is not an immediate family member unless a parent, guardian, person in local parentis, or a spouse who is 18 years of age or older is in the vehicle with you. After the first six months of driving on a junior license, the limit is increased to no more than three passengers under the age of 18 who are not immediate family members unless a parent, guardian, person in local parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older is in the vehicle with you. The increased limit does not apply to any junior driver who has ever been involved in a crash in which they were partially or fully responsible or who is convicted of any driving violation. You will receive a mandatory 90-day suspension if you accumulate six or more points or are convicted of driving 26 miles per hour or more over the posted speed limit. You may get a regular driver's license after you have held your junior driver's license for one year, if you meet the following conditions. Have passed a driver training course approved by the PA Department of Education. Have not been involved in a crash for which you are partially or fully responsible for one year. Have not been convicted of any violation of the Pennsylvania Vehicle Code for one year. 
have the consent of your parent, guardian, person and local parentis, or spouse who is at least 18 years of age. If you meet these requirements, you may apply for a regular driver's license by submitting an application for change from a junior driver's license to a regular non-commercial driver's license, DL-59. Your junior driver's license will automatically become a regular driver's license when you turn 18 years of age. What class of driver's license do you need? In Pennsylvania, driver's licenses are issued specifically for the class and type of vehicle you operate. Therefore, the class of driver's license you should have depends specifically upon the type of vehicle you operate. Generally speaking, the majority of applicants for a Pennsylvania driver's license will be operators of regular passenger vehicles, pickup trucks, or vans. This manual is designed to provide the information you need to get a non-commercial Class C driver's license, which is the class that covers these types of vehicles. Listen to the following for a description of each class of driver's license. The Class A license, available to those age 18 or older, is required to operate any combination of vehicles with a gross weight rating of 26,001 pounds or more, where the vehicle or vehicles being towed are in excess of 10,000 pounds. For example, a recreational vehicle, when the towing vehicle is rated at 11,000 pounds and the vehicle towed is rated at 15,500 pounds for a total combination weight of 26,500 pounds. The Class B, available to those age 18 or older, is required to operate any single vehicle rated in excess of 26,000 pounds. For example, motorhomes rated at 26,001 pounds or more. The Class C license will be issued to persons 16 years of age or older who have demonstrated their qualifications to operate any vehicles except those requiring a Class M qualification and who do not meet the definitions of Class A or Class B. Any firefighter or a member of a rescue or emergency squad who is the holder of a Class C driver's license and who has a certificate of authorization from a fire chief or head of the rescue or emergency squad will be authorized to operate any fire or emergency vehicle registered to that fire department, rescue, or emergency squad or municipality. The holder of a Class C license is authorized to drive a motor-driven cycle with an automatic transmission and cylinder capacity of 50 cc's or less, or a three-wheeled motorcycle with an enclosed cab. The Class M driver's license will be issued to those persons 16 years of age or older who have demonstrated their ability to operate a motorcycle or motor-driven cycle. If a person is qualified to operate only a motorcycle or motor-driven cycle, they will be issued a Class M driver's license. If you test on a motor-driven cycle, the number 8 will appear on your driver's license. This restriction prohibits you from operating a motorcycle. If you test on a motorcycle with more than two wheels, the number 9 will appear on your driver's license. This restriction prohibits you from operating a two-wheeled motorcycle. Please refer to the Pennsylvania Motorcycle Operators Manual, PUB 147, or the Mopeds, Motor Driven Cycles, and Motorcycles Fact Sheet located on PennDOT's Driver and Vehicle Services website and the Motorcycle Information Center for more information. And finally, the Commercial Class A, B, or C license is for drivers who need a commercial driver's license. Drivers needing this class of license should obtain the Pennsylvania Commercial Driver's Manual, PUB 223, which contains detailed information necessary to prepare for the tests. This manual is available on PennDOT's Driver and Vehicle Services website in the Commercial Driver Information Center. Tests. You will be required to pass a knowledge test before you can receive a valid learner's permit and a road test before you can get your Pennsylvania driver's license. The knowledge test will measure your knowledge of traffic signs, Pennsylvania's driving laws, and safe driving practices. The knowledge test can be given in oral form in Spanish, Arabic, Mandarin, French, Hindi, Korean, Russian, Ukrainian, and Vietnamese languages upon request at all driver's license centers across the Commonwealth. If you fail the knowledge test, you will be permitted to retake the test the following business day. 
This test needs to be successfully completed before you can receive a valid learner's permit. The knowledge test consists of 18 multiple choice questions. You must answer 15 questions correctly to pass the test. Possible driving situations are available on our website at www.dmv.pa.gov and in the online version of this manual under the Teen Driver Information Center. You can download a practice test app for both your Android or iOS device. Go to Google Play or the App Store. For the road test, if you are under the age of 18, you may schedule your test up to six months in advance. Young drivers are encouraged to plan ahead and schedule as soon as possible. We recommend that our young drivers take advantage of this opportunity. Appointments must be made to take the non-commercial road test. You may schedule your road test via the Driver and Vehicle Services website at www.dmv.pa.gov. If you do not have access to the internet, you could schedule your driver's test by calling 1-800-423-5542. You will need to present the following items to the examiner prior to taking your road test, and all items must be valid and for the vehicle you are using for this test. Your valid learner's permit, a signed parent or guardian certification form, DL-180C for 65 hours of behind-the-wheel training if you are under the age of 18. The valid registration card for the vehicle you plan to drive for the road test. Proof that the vehicle is currently insured. The valid driver's license of the person who is at least 21 years of age or a parent, guardian, person in local parentis, or spouse who is 18 years of age or older accompanying you to the driver's license center. If you do not bring the original documents listed above or you bring in copies of original documents, you will not be given the test. Before the test begins, a driver license examiner will check to see that your vehicle has a valid registration card, current insurance, valid state inspection sticker, and, if required, a valid emission sticker. The lights, horn, brakes, windshield wipers, turn signals, Mirrors, doors, seats, and tires on your vehicle will also be checked to make certain they operate properly and meet safety standards. If it is determined any part of your vehicle is unsafe or does not meet state inspection requirements, you will not be allowed to take the road test. If your vehicle is equipped with seat belts, make sure they are clean and ready for use. You and the examiner will be required to wear them during the road test. If your vehicle passes this inspection, the examiner will test you to see if you can drive safely. You will fail the road test if you drive dangerously, violate the law, cause a crash, do not follow the examiner's instructions, or make too many driving errors. The examiner may ask you to do the following prior to taking the road test. Show knowledge of vehicle controls by asking you to operate the horn, lights, including parking lights, high and low beam headlights and turn signals, windshield wipers, parking or emergency brake, four-way flashers or hazard lights, defroster, and so on. Failure to properly operate any of the vehicle controls will result in a failure of the road test. Show you can parallel park by parking your vehicle midway between two uprights in a space that is 24 feet long and eight feet wide. Your entire vehicle must be completely inside the space and you cannot make contact with any of the uprights to the rear or front of your vehicle. Cross over the painted line or go up onto or over the curb. You have one attempt to successfully park your vehicle using no more than three adjustments. Note, vehicles equipped with advanced parking guidance systems, that is, self-parking vehicles, can be used for testing. However, the self-parking feature must be turned off and is not permitted to be activated during the road test. The examiner will be your only passenger during the road test. When the road test begins, you will be told where to drive and what maneuvers to make. The examiner will pay close attention to the way you approach and obey warning signs, stop signs, and traffic lights. The examiner will note how you control your vehicle, use turn signals to communicate with other drivers, or use any other vehicle controls that may become necessary during the test. If you pass the road test, you will have your picture taken to receive your 15-day temporary driver's license at that time, and it will be valid for 15 days. 
Acceptable forms of identification at the photo license centers include a Pennsylvania Learner's Permit, Valid Passport, Certificate of United States Citizenship, Certification of Naturalization, Pennsylvania Photographic Identification Card, Photographic Employee Identification Card, Photographic Military Identification Card, Weapons Permit for U.S. Citizens Only, Pennsylvania Vehicle Registration Card, Photographic School Identification Card, Photographic Bank Identification Card, Medicaid Card, or Voter Registration Card. The temporary driver's license can be used by any business to validate your name, age, address, and so on, just as a permanent driver's license. Your permanent driver's license will be mailed to you within the 15 days. Upon the receipt of your permanent driver's license, destroy your temporary license. Some examples of possible reasons for failing the road test include inability to operate any vehicle controls, violating any traffic laws, for example, failing to obey a stop sign, driving dangerously or recklessly, making errors in safe driving practices, failing to follow instructions given by the examiner, causing a crash, and not using turn signals. If you are under the age of 18 and fail the road test, you will be required to wait seven days before you can retake the road test. This delay in retaking the test will give you time to practice and to improve your driving skills. You have three chances with each learner's permit to pass the road test before the expiration date of the learner's permit. After the third failure, you must reapply to extend your learner's permit. If you do not pass your road test after three tries, or if your learner's permit expires, you may obtain an application to add, extend, replace, change, or correct non-commercial learner's permit, DL-31. If you have not taken or successfully completed the road test within three years of your physical examination date, you must start over with another non-commercial learner's permit application, or DL-180, and retake the non